Hi everyone, I am Russell M. Hamrol, your subject teacher in entrepreneurship. But before we fully discuss our lesson 2 of our subject, let us acknowledge first the guidance of our Almighty Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Father in Heaven, we are here before Thee. Help us to study well. Help us to be obedient and honest. Help us to love one another. Bless our teacher. Bless our school. Bless our country. And bring us all to heaven. Amen. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our subject, Entrepreneurship. Okay, so your lesson for today is all about recognizing a potential market. So this is a very interesting topic to learn in our subject, Entrepreneurship. Okay, so is everybody ready? All right, so since everybody is ready, so let's start. In recognizing a potential market, you must know first the process of creating a new venture. No? Unsa man ang potential market? So may tag potential sa Tagalog ba potential na merkado. Creating a new venture isa itong lumilikha ng isang bagong pakikisag pakikipag sa palaran. So that is what we call creating a new venture. In recognizing a potential market, dapat imong mahibalan first the process sa pag likha ng isang bagong pakikipag sa palaran. So that is what we call creating a new venture. Nasaptan. Okay, very good. The creation of an entrepreneurial ideas leads to the identification of entrepreneurial opportunities, which in turn results in the opening of an entrepreneurial venture. Okay, so what are those essentials in entrepreneurs' opportunity seeking? So, there are basic foundation that the entrepreneur must have in seeking opportunities. First, you must have an entrepreneurial mind frame. So it means you see things in a very optimistic and positive way in the midst of difficult situations. Maingun ganita optimistic, you are expecting the best. I would elaborate. Instead of being discouraged, the entrepreneur is able to use this problematic situation as inspiration in creating something innovative. Diba? So, as you can see in the slides, um, in the Chinese writing, the word crisis is composed of two characters. The first character means danger, while the second character means opportunity. So, as I've said, that instead of being discouraged, the entrepreneur is able to use these problematic situations as inspiration in creating something innovative. So, the entrepreneurial mind frame is you have that passion. So, passion is the great desire to attain a vision or fulfill a mission. It is about wanting something so much that a person would be willing to totally devote oneself to the quest. So, mayingon galitag passion, kung sa Bisaya, you have nga dakong tinguha, di ba? Naasa kanta. You have to take your passion and make it happen. So you have to take your passion 
dakong tinguha nga kana siya mahitabo. So according to Steve Jobs, people with passion can change the world for the better. Do you agree with that? The second is entrepreneurial heart flame. So it means you have a driven passion in discovering things and a great desire to achieve a certain goals. So this is also about emotional intelligence or EQ, emotional caution, which is often manifested in the entrepreneur's effort to nurture relationships with customers, employees, and suppliers. So, entrepreneur heart flame. The entrepreneur also looks after the interest of his or her people by motivating and encouraging them to be the best that they can be. So this creates caring culture within the organization that brings about synergy among the people working toward a common vision. So may ingong synergy working together for a common goal. So magtinabangay ang tanan para ma-achieve ang usa ka goal common vision no? a common vision nga gitinguha sa usa ka entrepreneur so hand in hand working together for a common goal so that is what we call an entrepreneurial heart flame the third one is the entrepreneurial gut game. So, may ingon galit tag entrepreneurial gut game that is refers to the ability of the entrepreneur to sense without using five senses. Wa na kagagamit sa imong five senses. This is also known as intuition. No? So, the gut game also connotes courage or in the local dialect, lakas ng loob strong intestinal fortitude no you have the intuition nga kaning imo ang gihuna-huna nga idea for your business is mo click ni siya no sa society so you have that lakas ng loob talaga so kani akong gibuhat nga nahunanaan nga maayo no i have the courage lakas ng loob to introduce this to the market so that is what we call entrepreneurial gut game the successful new products spring from the convergence of your creative mind technical mind and the business mind so, the creative mind conceptualizes and designs a product that consumers find some use for it. Likewise, produces a product that is pleasing to see, to touch, to smell, to hear, and to taste. Diba? So, that is all coming from your creative mind. No? Anong naka invento man na sila og mga cellphones it's because of your creative mind the technical mind is the technology originator so the entrepreneur may not necessarily possess the technical mind but this is what drives him or her to convert new knowledge into something highly functional and operational so, nakanohuna ta. We need to have a wireless charger. So, no need na tong na ay wire. So, wireless na. So, muna imo ang naas imo ang technical mind. So, sayo na kayo. Sa una nga panahon, 
maglantak ko og TV, makikita gani ko ng mga salida bitaw sa una nga kanang moabri ang pertahan, kami jo mulabay lang kadiretso and then um pre ani mag Skype sa cellphone, sa chat, no mag istorya ta sa Zoom. And what we are doing right now, wala pa man na sa una. So, nagunahon ako kung matinood pa ka na. So, that is coming from the technical mind. Kaya natinood mga siya, may abot na mga siya karun. So, in this coming from your technical mind, no, you have to do something for uh, kanang wireless na ang charger. And then the business mind. So, have that creative mind. You have that technical mind. So the business mind harnesses the potentials of new products by creating the market space for them. It also organizes sufficient forces and resources to develop, launch, and commercialize the new product in order to maximize its market value. So you have that creative mind, you have that technical mind, So, naapagyog kay panghuna-huna sa negosyo, business mind, no? So, may lakas na loob ka talaga na i-introduce ni mo ang imong na huna-hunaan na you think na mo market ni siya, no? Mo kagat ni siya sa masa. Yun anak lang. You have the passion na, to make it happen. As I've said, Take your passion and make it happen. So there are many ways to discover opportunities. Number one to consider is the changes in the environment. So entrepreneurial ideas arise when changes happen in the external environment. A person with an entrepreneurial drive views these changes positively. External environment refers to the physical environment, societal environment, and industry environment where the business operates. So, number one is includes in the changes in environment is the physical environment. So, you have to consider the climate, so the weather conditions. Like for example, in Dubai, init mang kayo tito. So that is one way of uh, of your sources of opportunities. So may naa dito nga pretty mang inita. So gakinahanglan sila og too big. It's because of the weather conditions. Number letter B is the natural resources. So such as minerals, forest, water and Fertile land that occur in the nature can be used for economic gain. So, so may naa. Naa tay tubig, no? Naa ay fish, kita ni mo. So like for example, na kaw, nahuna ka o tanom, no? Ya dihang dapita day walay tubig. So, kaman paghimo ni mo tanom? So, kaman yung pagbaligyag tanom, na dili man mabuhi ang tanom mamatay man. Kaya wala man kay source of water. Letter C is the wildlife, includes all mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, etc. that live in the wild. So, that is also one sources of opportunities. Number two is the societal environment, includes the various forces like political forces. So, it includes all the laws, rules, and Regulations that govern business practices as well as the permits, approvals, and licenses necessary to operate the business. So like for example, at this point of time, we are facing this crisis, the pandemic of COVID, di ba? So since we are facing this crisis, so what are those opportunities na imong nahonaunaan in this pandemic time? So, di ba sa, uh, sa political forces, sa ato adiri, na atay no movement. So, that would be the rule sa uh, every Sunday, no movement. Dahil bawal sa mag-open, especially na sa mga kananan, 
gamay ra ang makaadto dito no pila ra ka percent ang pwede mo ka dili pwede ma uh, guot ditong napita so mo nang nauso ang tuktok all in express hatod hatod na lang ang ang sistema sa ato ang uh, pag-avail sa pagkaon so that would be your consideration in this time of crisis so what are those opportunities na mo-occur ni mo in this crisis that we are facing right now the economic forces such as income level and employment rate so imo sa una una on ang income level din hi sa ato ah, especially in Oroquieta City so dili sad ka pwede nga sa imong nahinohunaan nga opportunity nga imong i-introduce sa market like for example food din mahal ka ayo dili ka afford ang tawo unsa so, naman ang naa so you have to consider the economic forces and income level and employment rate in Hisa or Geta City. Sociocultural forces, so customs, lifestyles, and values that characterize society. So, mayroon right tag lifestyle and values. No, dilita pre sa Amerika na liberated kayo dito da pita. So, pwede magsuot og shorts nga puok, heaven kaayo, uh, pwede dilit na magbra. So, that would be the uh, type of culture or lifestyle nga ilang gina uh, use to dito sa US no so diri dapita dili pwede so dili ka pwede pud mamligyang mga iwanana nga mga styles of dresses while kay dili gina siya mahalin kay here in Orqueta we are type very conservative pata so bawal pata ana no then you have to consider also the technological environment so new inventions and technology of innovation so since also naman karon nga uh, high tech naman ta magamit ta gyud tag mga internets no mag order ta through internets na so that would be the sources of opportunities so the industry environment of the business includes competitors, customers, creditors, employees, government, and suppliers. So, for example, one factor in the physical environment that can easily change is the climate. So, the temperature is very high during summer but very low during the rainy season. So, an individual with entrepreneurial drive can be extremely imaginative and inventive in identifying opportunities or he or she can venture a business that responds to the needs of the people during summer and rainy season so sa may mga mamaan kung summer na kung summer needed you kay tag mga bugnaw di ba kay init yung kayo so ice cream ice candy no halin yung kayo nang naa and then, kung rainy seasons, of course, no? lugaw, lumi, so that would be the opportunities na atong makita uh, anang mga dapita. So, the climate, you have to consider the political forces, the economic forces, the sociocultural, the technological, your competitors, your customers, your creditors, your employees, government, and then the suppliers. Okay, so let's proceed to the technological discovery and advancement. A person with entrepreneurial interest sees possibility of business opportunities in any new discovery or because of the use of latest technology. For example, an individual with knowledge in repair and installation of a machine engine discovers that additional engine parts that considerably reduce fuel consumption so that would be on the technological discovery and advancement next we have the government's trust programs and policies the priorities projects programs and policies of the government are also good sources of ideas for example the use of firecrackers to celebrate new year's eve is strictly prohibited People without entrepreneurial interest will view the ordinance as a plain restriction. However, for an entrepreneur, it is a business opportunity to come up with a new product that will serve as a substitute for firecracker. So, unsa may imong mahonanaan 
nga giprohibit man ang firecrackers during New Year's Eve. So, basin tarotot, no? That would be the uh, wood substitute for firecrackers. Malay natin. Next one is the people's interests. So, the interests, hobbies, and preferences of people are rich source of entrepreneurial ideas like the increasing number of internet cafes at present could be linked to the strong attachment of young people to computers. Then we have also the past experiences. The expertise and skills developed by a person who has worked in a particular field will lead to the opening of related business enterprise. Diba? Sagaraan sa nag-opening o mga new venture of business, gikan sad na sa ilang na-experience before. And they come up into nga mag-start sila tungod sa ila ang mga experience before, sila na sad ang mag-start for a new venture of business. Okay, for example, an accountant who has learned the appropriate accounting and management skills and techniques in a prominent accounting firm can start his or her business venture by opening his or her own accounting firm. Okay, nasabtan ra ang mga sources of ideas. Alright. Okay, let's proceed to the first set of competition model. It is also known as the five forces of competition. An industry environment is a competitive environment. Regardless of what product or services you have, Competition is always present. So, sa may buot pa sa buto competition, what do you mean by competition? Competition is the act or process of trying to get or win something. For example, the prices are lower when there is a competition among the stores. Di ba na-notice ninyo na? Dagan kayo sari-sari store dito sa inyo ang silingan. Na si Aling Basing, si Aling Minda, o si Aling Lenny. So, nagtukod na silang mga stores. And then, ihay sa na sila o pa-obsanay sa ila ang presyo. Si Aling Basing, mahal mahal siya gamay. Si Aling Menda, uh, ubos-ubos siya gamay. Ang pinakabarato yun si Aling Lenny. So, it's because of that competition, uh, na yun sa kastor sa inyong silingan, nga medyo barato ragud ang iya ang mga balikya. So, there are five forces competing within the industry. We have the rivalry among existing firms, potential new entrants, supplier, buyers, substitute products. Pag may igayon ganita o rivalry among existing firms, rivalry is a state or situation in which people or groups are competing with each other. For example, it depends on the marketing strategy of your competitor like giving freebies and special offers. So, nanotice ba ninyo na if ever mo at tumuog ka ng mga malls, di ba? Nagtapat-tapat mo na na yung mga brand ng mga uh, sanina na to. So, like Jag, Lee. And then, si Jag nag 20% off, si Lipo nag 10% off, then napadyo yung freebies, di ba? So, yeah, it's because of the rivalry among existing firms. So, asa ka dito, mas nindot, or quality plus barato pa. So, dito kita pa dalo, di ba? And then second, we have also the potential new entrants. So, ang sama ng a new entrant is defined as the one who enters something. For example, the level of capital requirements. If the business requires huge capital, new entrants should decline to join the business. So, this gives a threat to, to the business. This can be noticed if there is the presence of the following factors. A. Substantial capital requirement B. Strict government policy C. Difficulty in assessing distribution channels 
the economies of scale. E, high cost of product differentiation. F is the high switching costs. Third, we have the substitute products. So, yung tag substitute means anything that takes the place or function of another. For example, the consumers decide to use margarine as a substitute for butter. So, in case the price of butter increases, preferably the consumer will gradually switch to margarine. Diba? So, a substitute product can give a big threat in the industry environment if the following factors are noticed. Switching cost is low. Preferences and taste of the customers easily change. Product is highly noticeable. The quality of substitute products dramatically improves the price of substitute product is substantially lower. So, substitute products. Then the next one is the buyers. So, some of the buyers. The buyers are the one that pays cash in exchange to your goods and services. For example, the influence of the price or in the bargaining strategy. The buyer have a strong and magnified bargaining power. So the threat of its bargaining power will be less if the following factors notice. So there are several suppliers available in the market. The buyer has the potential for backward integration. The cost of searching the supplier cost is minimal. The product represents a high percentage of the buyer's cost. The buyer purchases large portions of the seller's product or services. And then another one, or the last one, is the supply. So, suppliers. Some of the suppliers. The suppliers are the one that provides something that is needed or wanted. For example, if the supply and services being offered is unstable or keep, the intensity of the threat is strong in the kind of the competitive force in the industry. This can be noticed if there is the presence of flowing factors. The supplier has the ability for forward integration. Suppliers in the industry are few, but the sales volume is high. Substitute products are not readily available in the market. The switching costs is very high. The product or service is unique. So, in the competition, like for example, if the supplier imbis na uh, gusto ka magpa deliver no o mga hot dogs na imong supplier sa pure foods dili maka supply sa imo sa imong gipangayo so mo nay problema ana so there is a competition among so ang problema ana is mo switch ka sa lain Instead of pure foods, ah, mag-Virginia na lang ko eh. May pa sa Virginia kay pag-ingon o magpadala ko yung ani na daghan na adayan. So, that would be the five forces of competition model. That's end with our lesson two, recognizing a potential market. I'll be sending you a soft copy of our lesson two together with your activity. The deadline of submission of your activity is on October 20 since our lesson 2 is good for 2 weeks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a nice day and God bless.